of you may say caffeine. However, I hope that most of you would answer the sun, and you guys would be right. But how does the sun transmit 90 petajoules of energy towards the Earth every second? I mean, where does all that energy actually come from? Let's find out. Well, the first thing to consider is the sun's size. It's huge, with a mass of over 330,000 Earths. This immense mass results in an extreme gravitational pull, forcing the sun's core to be incredibly dense, generating tremendous temperatures, reaching millions of degrees. In this blazing centre of the sun, hydrogen atoms, which are whizzing around at incredible speeds, undergo an extraordinary transformation through a process called proton-proton fusion. Let's investigate. Imagine these are protons. Two of these are normally repel each other due to their light charges. However, because they're travelling so incredibly fast, they can overcome these sources can actually collide in a way that they fuse together. These collisions cause a loss of mass, and it is this mass that is then converted into energy. One of the protons converts into a neutron via the release of a positron and neutrino, and this subsequent combination is called a deuterium. But wait, there's more. Another proton can fuse with the deuterium to create a helium-3 nucleus, again losing mass. Now, two of these helium-3 nuclei can collide, emit two protons as hydrogen, then form a helium-4 nucleus, and, you guessed it, lose more mass. This happens continuously, every second converting 4.26 million tons of matter to 100 septillion joules of energy. Fusion reactions start from the humble proton and eventually release enough energy to power all the Earth's processes and support life. Now you know how the sun gets its energy. Cheers!